Alrighty, delightful human beings, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that writer, and today we're back with another cell phone reaction video uh, here on the channel. We're back with NXT UK reactions for this week. I start off by saying that because we ended up recording the bulk of our NXT reaction on the cell phone, and so the social experiment continues. So if you want to get to a match or anything like that, the timestamps will indeed be in the description down below. So, yeah, I didn't watch last week's because, you know, it's been a crazy busy week. Uh, we start our NBA next week. So this is the last reaction video, potentially, that we will have before I go back to school part-time. So just positive energy, right? Right. So, this week, according to the description, <laughs> we have Trent Seven versus Eddie Dennis. And we have Mark Andrews facing Lewis Howley. So, as per usual, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you all think about this week's NXT UK. So, on that note, let's just dive right into the reaction. We've got Nathan Fraser versus Kenny Williams. I'm still traumatized by the shaving video to this day. And by the shaving video, I mean like when he had the transformation they showed it like in the little box in the corner, like him literally shaving his beard off and everything. I just still don't know what to make of this whole situation, to be honest. <laughs> still slightly traumatized. But like I mentioned on the NXT video on uh, Wednesday, uh, it's kind of hard to hear the commentary because these are basically noise canceling headphones. So you may hear the noise from the uh, good old television in the background, but you will not hear it from, or at least I won't be able to hear it, I should say. So there is that. But I want to get that disclaimer out of the way so that we, we, we you and I are on the same page. It's really nice that Nathan Fraser is kind of like the mainstay in terms of like the opening matches and stuff like that. He has kind of like just that vibe to him of just being an opening match person, which isn't a bad thing at all. I know we've said that a few times here, but it is true. Oh, what did he just do there? Okay, this is going really quickly. Okay. 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 That did not look good. Again, we are not trained professional wrestlers here. I normally would just comment on like where the production-y things, like if the audio or video is off, but that diving attack did not look great. I, I don't think that was supposed to end like that. Unless if I, again, I am not a trained professional. I have to give this disclaimer in every episode. Why is he pulling him over towards the ropes? I'm really confused. Oh, the apron. Okay, he's he's getting the leg right over the apron and a huge kick right there. All right, we got a two count right there. What is happening here with all these kicks? Okay, I have no idea what that was, but that was pretty cool. Like Kenny Williams and the ropes and the apron are like besties at this point. Why would you go for a springboard if your knee is hurt? Oh, what a counter. Yeah, the counter there. I was gonna say, dude, why are you going for all these springboard attacks if your left knee is not doing so great? All right, Kenny Williams picks up a huge win right there. Yeah, I was gonna say, this was definitely much more of a Kenny Williams kind of showcase, like what he can do more as a heel. And I've been wanting that a little bit more. We've been seeing little bits and pieces here and there, but he really showed that quite a bit. It was kind of a more like clear, like, good guy, bad guy di dynamic, and I think we needed that. And like, yeah, again, this was a much stronger matchup for Kenny Williams in terms of the logic, because I mean, I get the adrenaline and stuff, but if like my knees hurt, I'm not gonna go for a springboard move or like, let alone move off my couch or anything like that. Again, the rice method, right? Alrighty, so we've got Lewis Howley versus Mark Andrews. Always nice to see Mark Andrews inside the ring. Always been one of my favorites to watch on NXT UK. It does beg the question as to who is going after Pretty Deadly for the tag titles next. I'm assuming it's subculture, but we'll see. We'll have to see how things go. Howley takes down Andrews right there. Let's see what happens here. Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh. Oh, what's he going for here? All right, we have a dive onto the outside from Andrews. Awesome stuff there. It appears to be that Andrews' shoulder might be impacted in this matchup. Possibly. Wait, I keep hearing a tag team title opportunity and like, I don't understand how a singles match would necessarily lead to a tag team opportunity. 
Oh, 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 wait, 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 he got caught again. Oh, what a DDT from Andrews. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like people keep forgetting just how talented Mark Andrews truly is as just like a singles person. Oh, all right, all right. That was cool. That was definitely really cool right there. Oh, really? Really, dude? Why do you gotta- No. Get out, get out of here. Ref, chuck him out. Oh, there's the rest of the subculture. You know what, Danny Luna? You get a clap right there just for being cool like that. We appreciate you. I mean, I would have just went for the cover right there, but I mean, now that he's got, you know, his tag team partners outside the ring, he's good. He's good to go. All right! Awesome stuff. Mark Andrews picked up the pin. Definitely a solid matchup, and I enjoyed it. Wait, isn't Laura Di Matteo over in, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Isn't she over in progress right now, I think? I don't pay attention to whole- I watch the clips from the YouTube, so there is that. But who is she taking on? See, we're doing our homework around here, y'all. I figured, well, we might as well. Oh, Blair Davenport, the former B Priestley. We came back at a really good point, didn't we? <laughs> Somebody pointed out something really good in one of the comment sections. I think it might have been on one of the clips from last week or the week before that. But somebody was like, they should just team up Blair Davenport with Island Dawn so we can get like the Blair Witch Project. And I'm like, <laughs> what? I mean, it would work. Just based on like the spooky vibes, I think that was what they were going for. But I was like, they may be onto something. But let me just say this, the NXT UK women's division is getting pretty stacked, friends. It is getting pretty stacked. I will say this, I like Davenport's just vibe and just, you know, the gear and the hair and everything. I think it's cool. Oh, oh, what a counter. Oh my God. Okay, I'm a little concerned about that. I mean, again, we are not trained professionals, but sometimes we're just a little bit concerned. Oh. DiMatteo is just like, she's just coming out of nowhere in this matchup, but I'm here for that. There's no letting up from those kicks. Not at all. Really? That's how the match ended? I feel, it, it, I don't know. Again, I'm not super familiar with her work, like, you know, of course, before WWE or anything like that. But I don't know. Like, that didn't feel like a finisher to me, slash didn't feel like a finish. I don't know. That ending just felt a little underwhelming to me, but... Oh, she's speaking. Short, sweet, and to the point. I appreciate that. Definitely some strong words to finish this up. Should be interesting to see where things go from here. So we'll, we'll have to see. Well, again, I'm one of those people that just likes to see where things unfold and that sort of thing. So we'll, we'll have to see how the journey takes forward with Blair Davenport. But yeah, there is that. So, you know, decent intro for her and we'll, we'll see what happens. My dudes, we're getting Walter and Dragunov round two in two weeks. Thank you. Okay. okay, now to the main event. I'm not editing out that couch fall. That's just too perfect. And I feel like it represents the community perfectly because we've wanted that rematch since their fight back in October. But we've got the main event right here. So that's exciting. All right, so we're getting uh, Trent Seven versus Eddie Dennis round three. Uh, we're, we're doing okay after the couch tumble right there. I keep forgetting that that's what they're called, like Eddie Dennis and Company, they're referred to as uh, Symbiosis. Although I do like Eddie Dennis and Company a little bit better still, but you know, we'll, we'll roll with it. This is our channel, this is our reactions. <laughs> but no, we're gonna go back and react to the three takeovers that NXT UK has had, and we're gonna go to Worlds Collide from last January as well. So. Keep your eyes peeled on those four reaction videos. I don't know when they're going to show up. I would like them to be this month, but we'll see. We're trying to get the backlog as beefed up as possible because, again, we're starting school next week, so there's that. But certainly an exciting man. <laughs> Wait, did he just throw his scarf right into Eddie Dennis? Trent's got no chill, and we appreciate that. I think isn't it tied at one apiece with these two? I could be super wrong. I remember the TakeOver match. I know they had a match before the panini started, I think, right? Well, this has been an explosive start, to say the least. That's what I'm saying, Nigel. Who got the worst of that one? Because that just looked painful. Although, to be fair, I think everything looks painful. <laughs> everything looks painful in the eyes of a non-wrestler. I'm pretty positive that's the case, yeah. Oh, what a move from Eddie Dennis right there. 
Should be. And trust these how this unfolds. I like that detail right there where he kind of like hooked onto his like toe or his foot right there. I mean, the toe was a part of the foot, right? It's like, look, I went to journalism school and I'm going for a business degree soon. I didn't go for the anatomy or anything like that. So there, there's that. Well, like, I'm also wondering, too, because, like, doesn't any dentist have, like, you know, of course we have any dentist, but we're missing the company part of this here. So I'm wondering if his two dudes are going to interfere or do something in this matchup. Oh, 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 Any dentist have another slam right there? Very good counter. Not sure very good is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Words are hard, friends. We've established this at this point. All right, looks like Trent Seven's trying to mount a bit of a comeback here. What is Trent doing? Oh my god, no. Oh no. That did not look fun to land on. Okay, so we're on the top rope here. Eddie Dennis is on the top rope. Trent Seven's chopping the crap out of him. And now he's on the top rope with Eddie Dennis. I don't like where this is going, fam. Oh, okay, Eddie Dennis kind of slipped through. Oh, he's going for his finisher here. Oh no, that might be it, my friends. Oh, he's going for a second one, because I think it took like two of them, I think, in the takeover match to like put away Trent Seven. I think the I think the one that did him was like the one on the outside of the ring though. Oh! Oh what a clothesline. That bit right there was uh, quite interesting, friends. Oh! Okay, that was really smooth. Oh, what a close call that was. I mean, I, it, it could go either way still. Oh, what a boot right there from Eddie Dennis. God. All right, they both ended up in the corner. Like, I think they both just kind of spilled over there. But, I, I mean, it works because they both have taken their fair share of damage at this point. I would just be like, I'm rolling out of the ring. We called it! The company and Eddie Dennis and company, they have arrived. Oh, come on, ref! Get him out of there, ref. Get the get these two out of here. Oh no 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 no! I think Trent just took out everybody essentially. Some brownie points to that. That's got to be it, my friends. That that might be all she wrote. All right, nice to see Trent Seven pick up a win. He temporarily. Oh Jesus Christ! These dudes have no chill. The company has returned. Good lord, these dudes have no chill. I was gonna say, where's Tyler Bain at in this whole situation? Gotta love this little mustache mountain reunion of sorts right here. Nice little team up, we appreciate that around here. Oh wait, the nunchucks! Why are you acting so surprised that he has them here? We saw this in a promo vignette sort of thing a couple weeks back. <laughs> Why are we surprised that Tyler Bain has nunchucks? But this is interesting, this is gonna set up for something quite new indeed. All right, so final thoughts on this week's NXT UK. Overall, I thought we had a lot of interesting developments and things that are sort of moving and pieces and parts that are moving, and that's always a good thing. There were some weird little, like, nitpicky things that we kind of pulled out, like in terms of the logic and stuff like that. To me, it wasn't like the greatest episode, but it wasn't like the worst episode either. It was more of a middle of the road type of one. But the matches were all pretty good. Uh, definitely a quick watch. If I had to pick a match that I enjoyed the most, I would probably pick out uh, the Mark Andrews and uh, Lewis Howley match, and of course the main event with Eddie Dennis and Trent Seven. Uh, we will indeed be going back and watching the NXT UK takeovers. We're eventually going to get to the mainland takeovers and rewatch those, because it's been some time since we've seen a lot of them, or we just straight up have not seen them, so there's that. And there's also Worlds Collide 2020, so maybe this will be like our first classic reaction arc of sorts. I don't know. But yeah, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> so on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment. We will keep these reactions going, even as we transition to going back to school part-time. We're, we're not going to let these die out, my dudes. We are not going to let these die out. So... On that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Again, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell button so that way you get notified when we upload around here. So, on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in, and I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone.